Hare Krishna. Okay, we've come together and we're happily here. And just that note that, uh, yes, there are many things still to be revealed to the world. And we know that there are devotees who have um, only, uh, have footage or pictures or recordings where only they were recording. So, you know, that lots of things over the next decades will probably come to light, you know, bit by bit by bit. Plus, we well know what is already published. We have to go over those things and reread. In other words, the books. What is the book? It, the book is the trans, most of the books are the transcripts of uh, the talks of Guru Marsh and Guru Dev put into, into book form. So that's another thing with a book. It is you know, carefully presented and rechecked and et cetera, et cetera. Those who are producing the books are, are aware of that, um, like st really strictness, you can say, of Guru Marsh and Guru Dev. And Guru Dev, he had that magic capacity of he receive a book and then what is somehow or another the whole book is perfect but he'll open the book of that page there's something questionable on that page and Guru Dev will question and he said oh look at this but the rest of the book may be perfect so we have to be scrutinizing of every sentence and this comes up even today this comes up today here in Italian they're translating doing translation and there was some phrase and Krishna Kantra and Munindra, they're asking me about how to make this into Italian. And so, of course, when you translate, you'll have to think doubly hard about what is the meaning behind. And then finally, uh, you know, she got, she, they, Munindra and Krishna Kantra got me thinking about, oh, so how would I clarify this in English? And we've read it many times and then we actually called to Mahayogi, who is Mahayogi and Goswami Maharaj were uh, making these books. I mean, they are the ones who brought these, that series of books from San Jose together. And Mahayogi saying, yes, I also agree. <laughs> then we have to re reword it. Some of these things which you know, we read and we're trying to think about what is Guru Maharaj saying. In this case, Guru Maharaj, it was in the loving search for the lost servant. Then they get clarified along the way. Hare Krishna and some famous, some famous mistakes came up in the early printings in Srila Prabhupada's books also. And the difficulty is when something is first published, when it is actually corrected in the next edition, as it were, with corrections, then those who have been reading the first edition uh, can make quite a lot of noise about, oh, it's been changed, it's not the same. But sometimes that change is actually a correction. And we can agree that uh, to change something for the sake of changing it is not good. As in the case of uh, one devotee, I know very well, the devotee, he asked to Guru Maharaj about, oh, Bhaktivinu Thakur's English, in the book, Sri Krishna, uh, sorry, uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his life and precepts, which was written in English by Bhaktivinoda Thakur, but one of our senior devotees, obviously, wanted to reprint that book, but with like uh, modern English. I don't mean modern slang English, but in the modern English way, rather than the 19th century English way. And Guru Maharaj very clearly, I mean, very strictly said to him, who are you to edit Bhaktivinoda Thakur's books? So, you know, we know that uh, we have to be very careful about doing anything. But in the Gita, Srila Prabhupada's Gita, from when we were uh, reading the Gita, there was one part in there which says about uh, those who uh, worship the the forefathers they go to the planet of the trees so then everyone's thinking oh there's somewhere there's so many planets there's a planet of trees so if we worship the forefathers we'll go to the planet of the trees but actually it is literally one of these mistakes it's a mistake of hearing and transcribing and actually he was saying go to the 
the pit trees, the Pitri Loka. So now those of us you know, who've read a bit now or longer, it's Pitri Loka. Pitri Loka is told to be the, the planet of the forefathers and it comes up in other places. But by hearing, then it's a mistake and every, you know, mistakes are made. So everywhere there's room for, you know, we, we have to allow that there can be some mistakes. But, oh yes, we were saying about the transcripts. But as far as possible, we must be very careful in uh, presenting the transcript, uh, yeah, putting the transcribed words as, the, as saying, oh, this is what they're saying, when not. Madhavi Devirasi, welcome from Colombia. Dandavat Maharaj. Very dark in Colombia. Maharasi. Very dark, like India with the light, with the load shedding. What, I can't see what you're showing me. Krishna something. What book were you showing? Srila. Oh, El Upadesh Amrita. Okay. Oh, oh, now you're going to, you're going to. Um, In Spanish, Maharaj. <laughs> In Spanish, very good. <laughs> and is this Dandapad, in Spanish? How are you? Yes, good. Is this Gurudev's uh, Upera Shamritam or this is from Iskon? Is Shila Prabhupada? Shila Prabhupada. Okay, yes. Yes. Is Gurudev's? Um, yes. Uh, uh, sorry. Well, Gurmash, Gur our Upera Shamritam. Is this available in Spanish, Paneshwari, the thick one? I I don't have it. It might no. Be. Is it available? Do you know? Have you heard? No. 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 Okay. okay. I'm just asking because I saw this one and I thought, oh, maybe ours is coming in Spanish. No. From the eleven <laughs> verses, six hundred and something. Dando <laughs> de votos. Dando yeah. de votos. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Govinda, Govinda. And, well, we've all been hearing, all of us, maybe, were in yesterday's talk. Oh, no, yesterday, no, that was the day before. I was going to say about Jiva Goswami. By the way, I was in, Guru, in um, Goswami Maharaj's talk that day, too. Oh, you know, because you were in the London meeting, but I was on Facebook which I rarely do, but now devotees are showing us these things and making, <laughs> making life a little complicated, having to have Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Signal, uh, Skype, email. Oh, my goodness. Anyhow, dear devotees, we're here together. We've been hearing you know, the topics about Mahaprabhu Sanyas and about Jiva Goswami. And I was just thinking then about Jiva Goswami, because you see, Jiva Goswami, they say 400,000 verses, some say half a million verses, however many verses, if anybody has the time or inclination to count them all, Jiva Goswami composed you know, flawlessly hundreds of thousands of Sanskrit verses and not only like grammatically flawlessly in poet, poetry form, but he's giving the Siddhanta. And then you see how much um, like responsible, but how much uh, indebted we are that we have like this, this perfect presentation of what is our, our uh, Siddhanta and teaching, what Mahaprabhu gave. So, it's not coming through, you know, the, the uh, imperfect senses. It's coming from literally the revealed truth. And Jiva Goswami getting the blessings of Nityananda, of Rupa Goswami, and Sanatana Goswami, and all of the Goswamis. And Jiva Goswami then, with their blessings, he's uh, presenting to us the um, watertight, Arma, the watertight armor 
for our Krishna consciousness. This Jiva Goswami, yesterday, right? With you, it's today. So to, for uh, me, it was this morning. Yeah, Jiva Goswami's appearance, uh, disappearance day, right? With you today. Hare Krishna. So any question from anyone? You've been hearing these topics, no doubt, and reading these topics about Mahaprabhu's sannyas and about Jiva Goswami and his protection of the Sampradaya teachings. So, but any questions from you? Jayadesh Prabhu. Well, I, we were, have a bad connection and then we got back on. I missed, you were about to say something about Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's beautiful um, English. And right when you were about to say it, I missed it because we lost the call. Could you could you um, reiterate what was said about that? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, it, very simply, it was this: that um, a senior devotee who's now passed away, um, but he asked to Guru Maharaj. He said about publishing books. He said, Guru Maharaj, I want to uh, publish Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur's book, Sri uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his life and precepts, I believe that's the title of the book. And it is published, it's there in English. But Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur wrote it in English, but, but um, the devotee is Dayara Goranga Prabhu, who we knew very well. And he asked to Guru Maharaj, and Guru Maharaj um, suddenly like, um, changed to a very serious mood and said, who are you to edit Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur's books? No, however was his English, you keep it as it is. That's what that's what came from his pen, his pen or pencil, maybe. But and so that was that was simply that point that we we must be very careful in dealing with the the writings and the the uh, what is published by our uh, predecessor charges. But in those careful dealings, we may come across things which have you know, been mistakes of those who are transcribing, who are hearing and are transcribing, those who are you know, publishing, the proofreaders. I mean, many mistakes can come in. Just think, just by accidentally missing out the word not, how much difference, opposite difference a sentence will make. And it does happen. These things happen and really, it happens. And Gurudev himself was uh, involved in publishing the manual printing, well, manual, they may have become electric, but the printing presses, the physical printing presses, where you put in the letters and things. And Gurudev himself, he said that always there's going to be some mistake, however carefully, letter by letter, you proofread and put everything together. And he said, we call it the ghost of the printing press. So the ghost of the printing press is always playing along with us. So we must be very cautious. The main point is we must be very cautious what is published, put into black and white. And that also goes, I mean, some conversations with Gurudev and the devotees or Guru Maharaj and the devotees, they were private conversations. And, you know, so you, you can think yourself, you're having a private conversation with some friends and it's not meant to be heard by everybody. That's natural matter, natural matter. And this way we must be careful to represent. And this is what is the, the, the line of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu telling things to the devotees and saying, now you tell that to others. So we have to be careful to try to tell accurately to others, and especially in the printing in black and white, because people read things in black and white, and the nature of the mind is, we definitely tend to believe it more than if it's just said to us. As we, you know, evidenced by so many things that take, that take place. Oh, it's written here, it's written there. Oh, yes, who wrote it? Yes, Praneshwari. Yes, Maharaj. Um, 
I I want to say that Nadia Priya Davidasi from Kharkiv yes. is sending uh, humble dandavats to you with great affection. <laughs> okay, she is. How is she sending them? <laughs> on Facebook. On Facebook. Oh, we're on Facebook. Oh, here am I saying about the mysteries of Facebook and exactly this, where we had Goswami Maharaj's talk, but then we realize actually everyone thinks, oh, we're not there, but we're there listening. So on Facebook, who else is with us? Can you say? Can no, no. No. I don't know whether, I, whether on Facebook even you can see who's with us at the same time. I'm not sure. Anyway, Nadia Priya Devirasi. Rupa Vilas. Rupa Vilas is watching on Facebook. Jai Rupa Vilas Prabhu. It's good to know that they're there. Do let me know each time so that we know the devotees are there. And Rupa Vilas Prabhu, there on Facebook. Nadia Priya. All sincere devotees of different generations. And for the younger generations, Nadia Prairidi, you see, you have much responsibility. You all, what you are hearing and gathering of our Guru Mahar, from our Guru Mahajas and from their teachings, you have to keep that and distribute, tell others about it. And the other thing is, we should say what we know when we don't know something we can't just make up an answer so that people think oh we've got all the answers and actually I thought from like long ago I mean for dec literally decades that I'm always pleased that the ball doesn't stop with me <laughs> because I know <laughs> I know I don't know the answer so you know we can go to somebody else to hear about oh what is the answer to this and of course in our life, the whole focus of Guru Maharaj and Gurudev, and now we have all of our Acharyas who each have some quality and some, uh, some way of seeing the gift of our Masters. So we certainly consult on so many things. Hare Krishna. And we need checks and balances. And Sometimes we, everybody makes a mistake. And I always tell devotees, please immediately tell, especially if you, you know, so, so often there's a camera or something, it's much better to correct something when we say, if we get the wrong name, for instance, and such and such, you know, one of these six Goswamis, they did this. But if sometimes it's literally a mistake, in our own self, we don't know. It's like somehow or another, we just, oh, I thought it was that. Then we check check out the name and we find, oh, yes, you're right. So sometimes, you know, it's a fault because we're faulty, but sometimes it's literally a slip of the tongue. You know, how, yes, you know it was Rupa Goswami, but somehow your mind is thinking of the, like the next part of what you're going to say and the wrong name comes out. This happens to the fallen souls. So it's much better to correct it at the time. And I tell the devotees, well, why you tell me afterwards? <laughs> Please tell me during the program. <laughs> so that we want to give the right message. If we're just talking with, you know, normally with the devotees, then we can correct it later. We can say, oh, this morning in the class, I said it was Jiva Goswami, but actually it was, you know, Sanatan Goswami or something. We can correct that amongst ourselves. But when it's, things are recorded, then it's much better to correct immediately. Of course, none of you are faulty. I'm talking about experience, revealed experience of this world. And, you know, we just have to... So what, wherever we are, like I was saying to Nadia Priyadi just now, that whatever we understand or feel that we understand, that we will say to others. And... We also must consider where we've heard something from. So, you know, and who we've heard it from. So we start to be selective. Yes, we can hear many things from many places, but we know from being directly in the association, I mean, directly at the same time, same place, same people, exactly with Gurudev. And then I've had this, in Navadip, I've had this. In the morning, we've been in the same room with Gurudev and in the afternoon I'm hearing devotees talking about 
what Gurudev said or did that morning. And it was, wasn't what happened. I can tell you clearly, it was not what happened. It's not what Gurudev said. Then even it's gone on. Oh, no. And then he said, oh, when was this? He said, oh, this morning. Oh, who did you hear that from? And they'd say, who they heard that from? And then you kind of piece it together. What are they? Oh, that's, they misunderstood. Gurudev wasn't talking about an elephant. He was talking about something, something which sounded like an elephant, you know, and then you think, oh, no, you see. So who we hear from, we also have to kind of be, we can hear general Krishna Katha, but we'll hear something and then we must consider it's really, it was like that or not. And really, I've had some, I mean, remarkably wrong things which have happened the same day. Actually, you know, the same day, and you know, we've we've gently tried to point some of them out when it's happened. But it's a we're allowed to see it, and you think, well, why was I, am I allowed to see something? We're allowed to see it because it's a reminder for ourselves. We must try to be connected as close to the original source as possible, or those who like are reliable hearers and presenters. Krishna, Krishna. And this is what Krishna says. With, I mean, with all sincerity, devotees hear and repeat. But Krishna says in Gita that over the course of the generations, what I told to the sun god in due course of time, it got lost. So here I am telling it again, because it changes a little bit of color. And this is also, you know, can say a basic, a basics, um, basics part of our devotional life. We need to catch as closely as possible and carefully as possible the teachings of our masters and share what we know is reliable rather than what we heard took place. What happened, you know, directly with us, whatever it may be, but as close to the source as possible. And some stories become Vaishnava enhanced in the sense of, I mean, positively, Gurudev liked some, we can say exaggeration, but like they say for movies and things, dramatized for television or dramatized for the screen or something you know how you uh, like an ordinary event it can be a bit dramatized so it's catching people's attention and Gurudev liked a little dramatization of the reports of some of the Vaishnava gatherings <laughs> that we were in and you know he didn't like to hear oh only four people turned up you know he liked to hear something more than that. And I mean, Gurudev himself, sometimes, I mean, really, I, and I, this is like me, me and Gurudev, we went somewhere, we're with Gurudev, some program took place, we come back and then the devotees are asking, you know, about how many, somebody's asking how many that, you know, and I'm sitting there in, in front of Gurudev, we're on the floor, I'm sitting on the floor, of course, Gurudev's in his, in his chair, but devotees sometimes are asking something. So it's not that Gurudev always is asking, we're discussing on the floor and they're asking, oh, Mahananda, how many people attended? And if I said, oh, there were about 10, then <laughs> Gurudev, 10 to 100. <laughs> and then I said, oh, yes, and Gurudev, a little mischievous smile on his face. And oh, yes, you're, oh, yeah, there were hundreds. <laughs> and Gurudev, he said about Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, that uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, he was, he was the master of like giving great emphasis on something which may not have been so big physically, seeing the numbers, etc. But from Srila Sarasati Thakur, he would want the write-up to be like a very glorious write-up and to catch the attention of the public attack to grab attention. So some dramatization, no doubt, but that is 
that is different than wrong <laughs> it is actually that is perfect it is the glorification of the vaishnava's talks and as we heard but i did i wasn't there but as we heard in london one time the shila Prabhupada, when he was there very few people turned up for something and shila Prabhupada. And uh, he said, but put down many maths. You put down all the maths. But Guru Dev, but you know, Srila Prabhupada, there's only 10 people here or whatever it is, something like this. And Srila Prabhupada, you know, saying in the way he would say, as we, ha as we have heard from fairly reliable sources saying, you cannot see who is coming. Coming to the gatherings of Harikatara, Narad and Shuka and so many are coming to, to hear. So put down many seats. So... We can remember things like this from our charges, which are reminding us that we are still thinking we are body, I mean, definitely we're thinking we are body conscious, however theoretical not, but we will soon find out, you know, life goes on without our bodies and that as Srila Prabhupada had you know, reportedly said there in London about how so many, so many come to hear the, this kind of harikata. So we ourselves will be wanting to be with the devotees and understand those things that Gurudev was very aware of. Gurudev was very aware, and not only aware, speaking with the, the subtle beings. They were his friends. They were his servitors. They would tell him what's happening here and there and everything. So don't think the Lord doesn't see don't think, think uh, everything is not seen. Hare Krishna. So, yes, Ma this came from Madhavi showing us Upadesh Amritam, maybe. Now you've all got a guilty conscience. Oh, have I put Upadesh Amritam as part of my DNA? You know, I thought today also, I'm going to consciously <laughs> not... <laughs> not like test everybody on Upadesh Amritam, but leave it, you know, we can cover things and re, you know, cover them again, emphasize it, but we, I don't want to be a school teacher in school teacher mode. Hare Krishna. And sometimes I know, you know, we have to remember when we were younger, because honestly, one day, you know Navadeep Dam, everyone's seen pictures who've not been there. Maharaj, you're muted. And it was a busy time, many devotees, but I heard, I heard the devotees say, Mahananda's coming, Mahananda's coming. You no, know, I hear people putting things away, closing doors or whatever else may be there. And I honestly, I mean, thought to myself, is that what people think? That, um, like, like the school teacher, right? when we're in school and the school teacher's coming. Oh, no. So anyway, obviously, I am a monster or I was a monster. I still am a monster. But you we don't want to be. Uh, when you come <laughs> what was that, Kalachan Bro? Scatter like the cockroaches, turning the lights on when we hear you coming. You scatter like cockroaches. Were you one of them? <laughs> I was definitely one of them running and hiding in Abadweep when you were coming. I knew I would be busted in big time trouble for whatever nonsense I was doing. Hare Krishna. Anyway, I wasn't aware I was a monster, but sometimes. I'm, I must say, I mean, I know, you know, now when computers, when personal computers came in, and then you were thinking, yes, very good. Look how efficient they are for, you know, doing transcripts, preparing so many things. But then they started to, the devotees started coming and using them for enjoyment, means using them for watching movies which, you know, we didn't even have the computers that could watch the movies. They didn't have, you know, the capacity. But then, you know, gradually everything comes up. And then that just felt wrong to me when devotees are in Nabad, they've come to Nabadeep Dham and watching movies. But I know, you know, you then you to understand, okay, that's what everybody does. It's like, it's what happens. But, you know, we have to say, 
cannot really give approval. We need to remind ourselves. We come all the way to Navadeep. We've spent thousands of dollars to make the journey. You know, using our time, which can be used for so many things. Let's use our time properly and not like deliberately going into Maya. Hare Krishna. But then you see it becomes the norm instead of the exception. And I was on a bus, an express coach in, in Malaysia one time, and it was the night bus. You know, how we, we used to try to travel at night and then do the, the book distribution and the programs in the daytime. And so for like going Kuala Lumpur to Singapore, we take the night bus. And sometimes they had the, the uh, video, you know, the, the television with the video, some movie or something on the bus. And it was very difficult not to, for your eye not to go to that movie, which if you're just sitting there, you don't want to do it. Even you're trying to chant your japa or something. You don't want to watch the video. And then it's a strange but clear kind of uh, relative experience, if you like, that then um, forcing your eye to look out of the front window, even though the TV is sort of just above you. So looking out of the window, then just thinking how we are told that all of this outside is a reflection or a shadow, different analogies are given, of the spiritual world, of our home, of the living world, the real world, you can say. So the screen is obviously illusion. We know it. It's dots on the screen. It's not happening live. It's recorded. Some of it may be animated. It, it never, was, never was real even in the beginning when they were putting it, it's animated. But it is drawing our attention and getting caught into that. But outside, then looking out the front of the, the bus, the, the, the window at the front, and then looking out and then seeing, but with this also we are told that this is not re the reality. This is only a shadow of that reality of our home. So the TV, the movie was like illusion within illusion. So how many layers of illusion do we want to, you know, layer on top of each other? We want to try to be searching for reality. Anyway, these were just some things. So yes, maybe in Navadip I was a bit of a monster about watching movies and doing other things. Come on, Maharaj, you're not even close. Don't exaggerate. You were nowhere near a monster. Of course, I wouldn't be thinking about any of your family, Kalachan Pro. <laughs> <laughs> None of them would come in my mind when I mention this. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> we never did anything. Hare Krishna. Maharaj. And I just go on that note, just for Kala Chantru, I have to say, and Janad, I mean, he's from California. I mean, in this material world, Sanatani and Shruta Shavarpu's son, one of their children from California. And uh, there, so many devotees, so many brothers, sister also, sisters also. But Janardhan Maharaj, who's been in California at the ashram from the beginning, he gives all praise to Kala Chantru. Out of all of the and Kala Chand, he's the devote, he is the devoted one. So Kala Chand, you get lots of marks from Janad and Maharaj. Oh dear. Actually, we just oh, talked dear. to him, Maharaj. Today is his solar birthday. And so Kel, we had a nice video call with him, with Janad Maharaj. Oh Janad. my goodness. So you, you're, sometimes he has three birthdays in a year. I tell him. Usually he has at least three birthdays. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. As I tell him, that's why you're getting old so fast, Maharaj. Yeah. Keep it to one. Okay, thanks for that reminder, though. I spoke with him the other day. He, he called me and we had, he's in good mood, had a good chat, a really good chat. So, yes, good. Anyway, Janadamar giving very nice certificate to Kala Chan Prabhu. So, just to let you know these things. Praneshwari Didi, you have a, had a raised hand. Yes, Maharaj, you have uh, more uh, greetings from uh, Anukula Chandra Das. 
Jain. So that means that Alessandro Scontrino is Anukula Chandra Das? It, I think it does, yes. <laughs> so nice. Jain, good to have you with us. I mean, really good to have you with us and to know that you're there because, you know, principally, I'm thinking we're on Zoom, so we see who's in front of us, but we want to be together. And today, we seem to be reflecting on things, but it is also actually a reflection time. It's the time of Mahaprabhu's sannyas and the time of Jiva Goswami's disappearance day. And uh, we heard that transcript yesterday, uh, those of us who were in the London gathering, and it... It's called, if you want to find it, anyone wants to find it on the web, the day of separation from Sri Jiva Goswami. And it's on premadharma.org, that website. And it's Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj. And he was, I mean, very um, wonderfully describing, you know, the Jiva Goswami's life, his contribution. And then you see Jiva Goswami, Goswami's disappearance day yesterday. And where is Jiva Goswami's temple? Where is his Samadhi Mandir? Where are his deities? That's right at where Krishna gave. And Guru, Gurudev says, Jiva Goswami and Rupa Goswami gave the land in Brindavan for our temple. So you know, all these are very you know, heavy duty things for reflecting the uh, super excellence of our family, of our sampradaya, how these uh, you know, mystical things have taken place and come together. So Jiva Goswami, with Maharaj, pen and paper, with pen Maharaj, and paper. I got a question. Writing, not with a computer and all these other things, but pen and paper. Yes, Madhavi Didi. Question. Yes, Maharaj. Um, Sri Rupa and Sri Sanatana is discovered so many temples in Vrindavan. Huh? But and Radha Kunda was also hidden. Oh, yes. Radha Kunda was hidden and also Shama Kunda. But who discovered Radha Kunda and Shama Kunda is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he went in this cold season to Brindavan, then he searched out for uh, where he's asking the local people, where is Radha Kund? Where is Shama Kund? And he looking for them. And then Mahaprabhu there with Balabhadra and maybe the Brahmana and one or two people, he's there. And then he starts bathing in ecstatic joy in a paddy field, rice paddy field, you know, where the water, they fill up the field with water for the rice. And then he's bathing there and then revealing here is Radha Kund. And this is recorded in Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj also. So Radha Kund and Shama Kund, like as very special, of course, we're reading Upadesh Amritam when the last three verses all take us to Radha Kund. And the, you know, the Radha Kund revealed here by Mahaprabhu, that place was lost over the course of time from the Leela of uh, Krishna. As well as so many deities which were discovered and re-established their worship by Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami. And others, Lokanath Goswami also, I believe, was assisting in that. Between them, they discovered many places, but Radha Kund and Shama Kund discovered by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, revealed the, the place. And look, now we've got Adi Leela. What quote is this from Praneshri? Tobbe Vishwarupa Ihan Patayila More Mata Ke Kahiyo Koti Koti Namaskari. <laughs> okay, this is from the beginning when we were take it together. Oh, maybe Jayadev who was saying Koti uh, uh, Koti Dandavat. So yeah. here we got Koti Koti Namaskari. Koti hundred is a hundred thousand. Huh? 
Koti, hundreds and thousands. Yeah. Yeah, I was giving hundreds of thousands of dandavats in one one concentrated dandavat, Koti dandavat. That's one powerful dandavat. <laughs> <laughs> So then Vishwarup returned me home and requested, offer thousands and thousands of obeisances unto my mother such. Oh, yes. Hare Krishna. This is about Mahaprabhu, well, Nimai and Pandit and Vishwarup, Jagannath Mishra and Shachi Devi. Very sad that Vishwarup left home and took sannyas. And there, the link to Premadam, yes, there we are, the day of separation from Sri Jiva. If you didn't hear that yesterday, or if you haven't read it, or even if you have read it, very good to revisit or visit this link. And I'm also going to copy that link. This link, which um, Praneshri just put in the chat box. Excuse me. So I also need to save that. Hare Krishna. Govinda Govinda. Yes, any question from anywhere? All right. No problem. Hare Krishna. I, I'm just amazed. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Maharaj. I'm just amazed on how you, twice a week, if not more with your other set songs and other things, how you give your time. Like I get up in the middle of the night and I go, oh my gosh, Mother Sudamaraj is getting up now at the same time when we go into bed, you know, and he's giving us so much and he's so generous. I'm just amazed you're still doing this back to back to basics. So <laughs> thank you. We really appreciate you. We do. We appreciate it. I look forward to this every time. Well, thank you for your encouraging words. I mean, really, it's words of encouragement. And I can say something. We're happy to be with the devotees. And actually, we always want to cover the basics because that's what Gurudev and Guru Maharaj want and stress to us. We need to be, to be here, you know, with our feet on the ground, and then everything will come to us from above. It's not our pushing, but we need to, you know, have our basics. So... You know, we're happy to be here. And really, it's not an effort. It's our joy. And uh, in, in one, I, I was just reminded as you were saying, oh, you're coming again and again to speak. I was in Ukraine, which is not very far from where I am, where we are now you know, physically, over just in Eastern Europe. I was in Ukraine and they organized a tour for me they do it different times, but maybe two years ago, they organized a tour and we were visiting like 14 different places. And so we'd be doing, um, and in the same place also, like in the afternoon one, in the evening one, afternoon and going place by place. And then each, then when we're going, then naturally we have, we're going to think, you know, what, how has it been publicized? What's the, the theme? And so we went to the first place and it was, you know, something like reality, for instance, reality, the beautiful, searching for reality, the beautiful, maybe was the theme. I think that was more or less the title of one. And then we're driving and then we're going to the next one. And what, so what's, the, what is the advertisement? What's the theme? Or oh, reality, the beautiful. Beautiful. Then we're going to the next one. What's the thing? Oh, reality, the beautiful. And it turned out that, like, that everyone. So I'm with the same people, the same translator, the same driver, the same way, with the same group. And this, you know, we're going in a van. And it was, it was, you know, good days because we're also in a van. We do like Mongol Arti or evening Arti. We're going on the road and, you know, there are. They're a good bunch of people and, you know, quite tough. Some of those roads are quite Indian. Cobbled, I couldn't believe, cobbled streets, you know, cobbled streets made of the small squares. I don't know if they have them in America. I don't, don't think so. But cobbled streets, if you think of an old street in Europe, they got these small black, you know, stones or squares. Anyway, they got these 
in the middle of the countryside going for like 100 kilometers in a tiny thing where you hardly see a vehicle and going along about, I don't know, 20 kilometers an hour or something. I mean, very slow, less than that, as you kind of the vehicles like walking over these stones rather than just driving. Anyway, so we're together in the van and so we did many things and they did the cooking on the side of the road. We just pull off and they cook. Anyway, the, oh, and what I was saying was that we're going place by place with the same people, the same title. So we have to make ourselves and look at what we're talking about, like from different angles. And you know, as we always do, you know, we're making our prayer to Gurudev and Guru Maharaj. You know, we're here to present them and how they are giving us these things. And it was an interesting exercise because you, it's not just giving, giving one talk and then adjusting it and then think, okay, I can adjust that talk, adjust that talk, because otherwise, you know, we don't want to be exactly saying exactly the same thing every time, but we're with the same people and they're recording things. So it's we're not, we're not a, 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 as Sagramar, <laughs> our dear Sagramar used to say, that we're not wind up sannyasis where you, you, know, <laughs> you wind up the toy and then you just sit them on the chair and then, and then the winding goes down and then you take them away. Right. So anyway, that was an interesting exercise. But we have so many themes. We're not talking on one theme only. But actually, one theme is, it, well, there are, I mean, one theme is, all, is always there. That Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, Gurudev. Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, and, or whatever order, you can say Srila Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada, Guru Maharaj. It depends how closely you feel with each one. But the, the three are our life and soul, and if we stay safely under there, then we will get Srila Sarasat Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur current, Bhakti Vinod Thakur's current, and in our jiva, very jiva conscious time because of Jiva Goswami's disappearance day, then we're getting that pure solid line of Jiva Goswami who's giving us and protecting Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, our everything, but from this safe umbrella. And we've been with Gurudev for, I mean, by his grace for a long time, we've seen his uh, attitude, his view, and he's so generous. Everybody knows that he's so generous and everything else. But Gurudev get, gets I mean, very disturbed when there's any bodies like going from this safe, safe uh, shelter and coming with conceptions from other quarters. Oh, Gurudev, very disturbed. So this is one very common theme in our in our back to basics. We need to be faithful and chaste. This is the chastity that Gurudev is always talking about. Chaste in our Guru Vaga. And as we see, it's not a matter of lots of knowledge. It's a matter of being faithful to them. And like the faithful dog in that song of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, we just will be ready with, it's not in that song maybe, but Gurudev describing about the dog and glorifying the dog, his nature. The faithful dog is a one master dog. And Gurudev would save himself, say, I am a one master dog. I am a master, one master dog for my Guru Maharaj. And Gurudev also saying that uh, about the quality of the servitors, because Gurudev had different servitors. You know, the Beng they needed to be Bengali. I mean, the, he had servitors who were not Bengali. But you know, for the close servitor who needs to get whatever Gurudev wants at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., anytime, they need to be a Bengali to hear you know, his full intonation, Guru Mar Gurudev doesn't have to translate into English or something else. So, you know, so he had a string, he had, you know, different Bengali servitors. And Gurudev sometimes 
describing the qualities of the good servitors, and he chanted the qualities of his servitors, certainly. And one of the qualities, he said, and the servitor, he must be like the, the dog. He's looking like he's asleep, but always one ear is open for his master. Like the, he's sleeping, but anytime, oh, Fido, Fido, come here. Then, oh, oh, yes, woof, 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 and then the dog will come. And he's not going to complain. His master is calling him. So Gurudev saying like this, and Bhimalananda Prabhu, who was one of Gurudev's servitors, and we can chant his praises as a servitor that Gurudev has told. And Bhimalananda Prabhu served Gurudev, maybe, okay, I may not have the number of years right, but it's something like maybe three years. And then when he then had some other service to do, and he's not Gurudev's servitor, <laughs> Bhimalananda, he said, I just had my first full night's sleep for like three years, you know, like going to bed at 10 and getting up at four or nine and getting up at four, whatever it is. He said, always, I'm just half awake all this time. And Gurudev gave him some very good certificate in, in this way. So we need to have our one ear open always for our, for our Gurudev's message, our pure current. All right. Oh, Praneshri, I'm not sure what you're going to give the theme for today because we didn't really give a focus on Jiva Gosami, but I think almost everybody here has been hearing. Oh, but we've given this article link. This is yes, wonderful. Maharaj, the name, the name, um, the name is 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 already on on Facebook, and is uh, the day of separation from Sri Jiva Goswami. It is, and it's it's um, very powerful. Of course, it's a powerful lecture. It's a wonderful talk. All right. So, dear devotees, let us meet again soon, and let us be together in the meantime, and wherever you are, however dark or light it is. And today, with most of you, it's Jiva Goswami's disappearance day. Oh, and I can just give one word. Uh, it is also Jagadish Pandit's disappearance day. And again, you know, we know in this world we can look up some things about Jagadish Pandit. He's one of the eternal associates of Mahaprabhu, but there is one like confirmed Leela, confirmed from Gurudev. So we know, and as we maybe mentioned in previous times, you know, some of the things we hear, we do need to get confirmation. Is it really true? And one thing about Jagadish Pandit, um, he came from Puri, bring, uh, and he had a dream, the Pujaris had a dream, at the time of the changing of the body of Jagannath, which they do every, I believe, 12 years. Then this is a custom, and it is all you know, inconceivable for us, but they change his body every 12 years. And so the Jagannath form, which is being replaced, then uh, Jagannath told to, to um, Jagadish Pandit that, oh, you don't want to leave from Puri, and I know you're so attached to me, but your service place is in Bengal, you, go, you need to go back. And then when he's going to go back, he gets the, the dream from Jagannath. That, oh, when they change my body, you take my, my, this body, you take with you, you take to your home and so and then he's saying well how do i do that and he said oh he with a stick i will hold the stick perhaps i don't know the exact detail you'll have to ask krishna and jagannath this one but either he had carried him with the stick or jagannath held the stick but somehow or another this was the arrangement i think he even carried him with the stick i mean all these things are inconceivable but and then the Pujaris, the, the pandas of the Jagannath temple, they had the same dream. Oh, this form you must give to, ja to Jagadish Pandit. And then Jagadish Pandit is taking him back to Bengal. And then at it's one place, which I mean, it's called Chakda. We know it. We have driven through it a hundred times at least. And uh, anyway, this place of Chakda, but not on the main road, but down by the river Ganges on a little tiny road. 
Uh, then, for some reason, then Jagadish Pandit, he put him there, maybe doing his evening, uh, you know, evening bath and everything. And then Jagannath would not move after that. And then there was some discussion between Jagadish Pandit and Jagannath about he's not meant to be staying here. Jagannath, he said, no, no, I'm staying here. And so there is a temple there. And uh, I've been there once in my, in my life, even though we know it's there. And that was by Gurudev's order, taking actually Bhakti Pramod Puri Maharaj, one of Guru Maharaj's god brothers, and taking him, driving him there, because his car maybe broken down or something like that. But he, need, he was going there, and maybe he was going to rent a car. And Gurudev said, no, you, Mahananda will take you. And Gurudev gave his car and drove Puri Maharaj and his servitor to that temple. This is Jagadish Pandit, amongst other things that you can see and read. He was a, a part of the Kirtan parties of Mahaprabhu, mentioned in different places. All right. Okay, dear devotees, the clock in 2021 is going faster than ever, so we have to try to keep up. Jai Om Vishnu Parish, Shri Guru Dev, Shri Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Parish, Shri Guru Maharaj, Shri Bhakti Rakha Kshidha Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Parish, Shri Prabhupada, Shri AC Bhakti Ranta Sami Prabhupada Ki Jai. And Jai Om Vishnu Parish, Bhagavan, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Ki Jai. Shri Rupa Nuga Guru Vaga Ki Jai. Shri Jiva Goswami Ki Jai. Shri Jagadish Pandit Ki Jai. Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai. Shri Chaitanya yeah. Sarasar Acharya Brinda Ki Jai and all yeah. the assembled devotees Ki Jai. Yeah. Netai Gaur Premanandi Hari 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 Koti Koti Namaskar. Thank you for all. Oh, Kaman yeah. Prabhu. The Kirkman Kala Chan Shuta Shava Sanatani Vaishnava Maharaj family. What's the family? Not the Hara. Anyway, family. Ki Jai. Netai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Vo. Hari Vo. Vanchekal Patrubhyas Cha. Kripa Sindhu Vya Eva Cha. Patitanam Pavane Vyo. Vaishnava Vyo. Namo Namaha. And just before you leave, do just copy that URL, the, the internet address of that article. The Day of Separation from Sri Jiva. I also oh. will read it again. It who is, is doing this Prema Nama website, Maharaj? Do you know who is the... Well, it, it, it was done by Tyagi Maharaj. And so he will have given good attention to it at that time. Thank you, Maharaj. Think... Thank you. Okay, Madhavi Devi Dasi. Dandavat, Dandavat. Jai Guru Maharaj. Dandavat. Jai Nithai, Dandavat.